Hi, this is April at Stunning Style. Every year, my best friend and I go on a shopping trip. This year, we decided to go to Vegas. And when I go shopping, I have a list. I do come across impulse purchases or things that I didn't know I wanted or, you know, surprise items that I realize will go great in my wardrobe and I do buy those. But I always have my list of things that I'm looking for. Today I'm going to show you what I bought, explain to you why I bought it, how it fits into my wardrobe, and what my reasoning was. The first pair of shoes I got are these. Navy blue suede moccasins. I have a thing for loafers and moccasins. I, I just love them. I really like masculine details um, and clothing items. And if you purchased the Stunning Style Spring Wardrobe Guide, you saw that a pair of blue loafers slash moccasins slash boat shoes were part of the wardrobe. I have a pair of Sperry's, they're navy blue, and I like them, they're really comfortable, but they have um, crystals on the toe box, and I've always felt like that was a little too sweet for me. Um, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to give them up. If I end up just wearing these all the time and never reaching for those, then I'll part with them. But I just love these. And I'll tell you why. I love the square toe box. I either need pointy toes or a square toe box on my shoes. I don't do round shoes. I also love that they're a deep, deep, dark navy. Very inky and saturated. I love that the hardware is silver and that the uh, tassel Ornaments are uh, cubes. I love that. These are Michael by Michael Kors and they were $50. I got them at TJ Maxx. The second pair of shoes I got are these cobalt blue leather sandals. I have two pairs of cobalt blue sandals that will be leaving my closet. Um, the first ones, they're very strappy. They're kind of busy for me, uh, and they are kind of uncomfortable on the top of my foot, and they show a lot of my toes. I have a weird thing about toes and sandals, and they just have to be right. I, anyway, I don't like them. The other pair I have are some blue jelly sandals, um, but they were actually little girl shoes. I wear a size six. And so I can, I can buy size four, sometimes three and a half in little girls. These are size three. And I thought, eh, if my heel hangs off the end just a little bit, it's not that big a deal. But it's really uncomfortable. They don't fit. These fit me perfectly. And I will get a lot of wear out of these. And so I kind of held on to the other ones, hoping for something better. And now that I have it, I can get rid of those items. These are the... Greta sandal by Sam Edelman and I got them for $49.99 at Nordstrom Rack. This is the identical sandal but in pink suede. Truth be told, I wish they weren't suede. Suede is not my favorite. I wish they were a shiny leather but I love the color and this is a hard color to come by. Um, they're the exact same brand and style as the other ones, and I got them at a different Nordstrom Rack. Um, I have a, the similar situation. I have a size 3 pair of little girls hot pink T-strap sandals that are just a little uncomfortable to wear, and um, these will be replacing them. As much as I like those other ones, these fit me right. These are better. I was sort of on a sandal kick. I have warm weather on the brain. I am ready for winter to be over and my feet want to be free of the boots. So we went to Tory Burch and I got these. They are the Thora Thong. There are times when I just want to throw on a pair of sandals and walk to the neighbor's house or go to the mailbox or even run the kids to swim lessons or swim team or dance team or soccer practice and soccer games. It's nice to have a pair of slip-ons, flip-flops, but these feel a little more dressed up because they have a more substantial strap 
They are shiny and therefore to me dressier and a little more like a real shoe. And I would still feel dressed in these and not like I'm wearing the summer equivalent of a slipper. I got these for $50. The last pair of shoes were not necessarily on my wish list. I have a pair already of silver pumps, shiny metallic silver that I like, but I don't love. First, they're not as shiny and reflective as these. They're a little brushed and not quite as reflective, which is okay. The main reason though I'm getting rid of them is they don't fit me right. The other shoes are from J. Crew. I typically wear a six. I need a six and a quarter in J. Crew shoes and they pinch my toes and they're uncomfortable and I've worn them, but I tend to avoid them because they hurt. These fit me just right, number one. Number two, I really like this unique style. They're a little different as far as a pump goes. I love this strap right here, but my foot still stays in really well. I also feel like they can dress up more than a typical pump can. They're really, really good quality. These are Michael Kors Collection, which is his couture line, and they are normally $600, and I got them for $70 at TJ Maxx. Now I'm gonna show you some of the jewelry I got. And by some, I mean two things. I got these earrings. I love the asymmetrical shape of them. They're Kendra Scott. They are normally $75 and I got them for 30 at Nordstrom Rack. I usually wear studs but sometimes I do like bigger earrings and I'm really excited about these. I had to take off one of the earrings to show you the second pair um, because I decided I've been wearing them since I got them. Tory Burch Hexagon logo earrings. Tory Burch doesn't do very much silver and so when she does, I pay attention and I really love these. I love the angles, I love the high shine silver, I love studs. I tend to wear more statement necklaces and stud earring combos and I'll get a ton of wear out of these. I got these for 25 instead of, I wanna say 78. I have a gingham popover short sleeve shirt in my wardrobe and as I scanned my wardrobe before I left in my spring and summer categories, I realized that every shirt I own is a t-shirt type shirt. Nothing with a collar, all of them with a scoop or crew neck uh, or v-neck, but nothing button up. And I love button ups and I love collared shirts. And I really wanted a little more variety. I love that gingham popover. I wear it a lot in the spring and summer. In fact, I wore it this weekend. And when we went to J. Crew Factory, they have it in white this time. It's a great basic that I will be able to wear with anything, any pair of shorts, any skirt that I can think of. This will just be an, another basic, like a basic white t-shirt. Now I have a basic short sleeve popover shirt and I will get a lot of wear out of this. I love a striped shirt. I have more striped shirts than I care to admit and I bought another one. I got this one at um, Ralph Lauren. It's just a basic navy and white boat neck tee with a half sleeve. The reason I pounced on this is because it is a true white, which can be really hard to come by. For some reason, all the shirt manufacturers like to make their striped t-shirts slightly off-white because it's supposed to be universally flattering to all skin tones. But here's the trouble. White jeans are everything right now. I want to wear my white jeans with my striped t-shirt, and I won't wear white jeans with an off-white striped t-shirt. It just it just makes my shirt look old and dirty. I want white with my white. And so I love this one. I also love a boat neck and I love half sleeves. 
and I will wear it a lot. The last shirt I got is this bold pink linen scoop neck t-shirt. I have been looking for this shirt for two summers, this coming up on my third summer. I found a couple of almost shirts that I've bought and worn. They're not really what I wanted. This is what I wanted, a nice basic hot pink t-shirt that I can wear. I just love this color. After blue, this is probably my next favorite color. It's linen, which I like. It'll be nice and breezy in the summer. I will have to be careful that one of my kids does not accidentally put this in the dryer because it will shrink. And I got it for $13 at Nordstrom Rack and the brand is Joe Fresh. So I have a fantasy wardrobe category of professional business wear. That's what I wore before I had kids. I worked in a business professional environment. I wore dresses and suits and pencil skirts and heels and I loved it. I love that category of clothing. I love it. I would wear it every day if it suited my life, but it doesn't. And I continue to buy those types of things. Like I have to go to court every day. I could go to court every day with my wardrobe. And so I swore off about six months ago buying all the beautiful dresses that I was seeing. I wear them to church. I wear them on dates with my husband sometimes, but I have way more clothing in that category than I could possibly need. And so I decided to stop buying them until now. I'm not really breaking my my vow. Um, I have a special occasion coming up and I had, I was looking for a dress for that. My daughter is getting baptized in about a month and I wanted a dress and I found one. It's kind of purpley. It's blurple. A blue purple. And since my daughter's favorite color is purple, I thought it was really appropriate. And it's a sheath dress. It comes right to my knee. I love the V neckline and I love that there's a v, a v shape in the back neckline as well. I really love this band right here. It comes right here across my ribs and accentuates the narrowness of my torso which is very flattering. It's a nice stretchy crepe so it's very structured but still comfortable. It's lined. It's, it's just a beautiful dress and it's very flattering on. It, it doesn't come down like this on my thighs. It falls um, more straight. I got it at Nordstrom Rack for $40. Um, the brand is Donna Morgan. It's a really nice dress. And I just might wear it with those Michael Kors silver pumps. I may also wear it with turquoise pumps or hot pink pumps. I, I, I haven't decided, but I think it would be beautiful with all three of those shoes. I could dress it up a little more with blingy jewelry for a fancy event um, or keep it more church appropriate with um, simpler jewelry. So I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this dress. I really love it. I got a new wallet, which is something I was in the market for. And so I got this crinkled silver metallic wallet from Tory Burch. It's a continental wallet. It's a $200 wallet and I got it for $54. And silver is exactly what I was looking for, so it's perfect. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you an insight into how I shop and what I do when I go on a shopping trip like this. I hope I answered your questions. If I didn't, you can leave them in the comments down below. Be sure and subscribe to my channel so you know when I post new content. I just posted a winter wardrobe purge last week and went through my winter closet with you to show you what I was getting rid of and so many of you really liked that. So you don't want to miss what's coming up next. Be sure and click on the bell so you receive a notification whenever I share something new. Be sure and visit me on my blog at stunningstyle.com for weekly outfit roundups and more content like this. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.